things that destroy our children. They will not. Because the Lord God is on our side. I had this and I've said this before. What is born of God overcomes your excellence. It says in 1 John 5 verse 4. Whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Your excellence, the first front of your defense is your faith. You have nothing to fear. We have victory in Jesus' name. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ya kama uko hapa na wewe ni Mkristo kamili. Ningependa ujitie nguvu. Ushindi tumepata. Nikisimama hapa nasikia tu raha. Kwa sababu ni kitu nimebeba muda wa miaka mingi. Nikiuliza mbingu. Hata rais wangu anajua. Nimetoka naye mbali. Bali, bali, uko, uko, uko. Bali yuanzia. Kwa majina wananiita na bi Amerika Gendo. Niliitwa nikiwa kwangiza baba yangu ni Joseph Maisha. Dia menisa kiro. Na alinifundisha neno na akanifanya nikafika sehemu zingine. Na ndiyo hizo simenifikisha huku. E, nataka kuambia neno la mungu liko hai. Nosiwai kustuka ina opareti masai shirina ne kwa sababu mungu wa pumziki. Ikitumwa lazima yende ikafanya vile meambiwa. Siku ya leo mumekuja hapa na mumeomba. Usiwe na question mark kwa sababu neno linasema usiogope. Ukiogopa ndiyo shetani atapata nafasi. Nataka kukuambia unabii huu ni nakupa wa mvua. Nenda utengeneza mashamba. Nenda utengeneze mashamba. Mbwe inakucha. Na nitaitaji tuseme kidogo isija kwa haribu ije ile ya kutoshia. Kwa sababu saa hii mbingu inaasira kidogo. Inaendelea na kukamilisha unabii ule uko kwa biblia. Kwa hivyo, nikependa musimame tu kidogo kwa sababu ya rais wetu kuna kitu nataka. Mungu alinituma mwaka wa... Twen, alinituma 2017 na alipo nilituma nilingojea mpaka ikafikia na ndiyo ninataka usimame ndiyo inji yetu ipoe unambi huu ni na utoa inji yetu inaenda kupoa na ataongoza kwa amani kwa sababu amepigana vita amemaliza simeisha simeisha e, hakuna vita tena wacha ni kuambie na Nataka kukwambia yule tunamwabudu yuko hai na matendo yake ni ajabu na yeye achelewi katika kitabu cha Isaya msina tano kitaremuka pale nane kuelekea hapo utasikia neno ikisema neno ikitumwa inaenda na inaoperate kwa hivyo naomba sote tuinue mikono mbinguni inua vizuri na rosafi inua vizuri na rosafi naomba urudie nyuma yangu sema e bwana Yesu Naomba sauti yako sema kama mwanajeshi bwana. Wacha kusema kama unasikia njaa ama umechoka. Ni siku yetu ya kufaulu. Yaani na furahia sababu inchi yetu inaongozwa sasa na Kristo. Nikiwaona hapo huwa tu kila siku nasema maneno. Yaani wa Kristo mnastahili msimame na nguvu sana. Inua mikono kabisa na utamuke. E Yesu Kristo. Uketie kwenye kiti cha henzi. Ulitoa unambi. Na umetimia. Kwa sasa tuwaomba. Misuko suko ya inchi. Isimame. Tamuka na ujasiri. Uonge hivyo kiuwa mekasirika. Unapigana na your enemy. Isimame. 
Toa komandi ngabisa mwambie wewe shetani. Na vinyago vyako. Una mamlaka tena Kenya. Hebu mkamatia hewani mkamata hivi. Kamata. Kamata kabisa. Si ukamata hivi mikononi mwako. Alafu muinue huyo shetani. Kamata. Naomba ukamate hivi kwa nguvu sana mkamate na nguvu. Hebu kamata. Kamata tena. Hebu murushe nyuma yako mwambie toka mbele yetu. Kamata tena. Murushe nyuma yako. Mwambie nipishe nipite. Kenya yetu itakuwa na amani. Utarudi tena kuona msuko suko. Rais wangu na furaha kwa hii mkutano pamoja na madam sasa ndio mmegundua mahali siri iko. Ndio mmegundua. Na kwa kila mwaka itaneni hata kama ni mara mbili. Unajua kila serikali kila serikali iko na majeshi inalindwa. Sasa hii serikali ya Kristo hii ina majeshi na wako huku ndani ndio hawa sasa. Wakati unawaita umezima uvali muangiza. Hata waende waende waingie mashimoni baharini, mizimuni makaburini watatoka bure. Kwa sababu mbingu inasema kwamba katika nyumba ya Israeli hakuna uchawi. Hakuna nini? Walienda kona sote lakini tulikuwa tunawaangalia. Wakipika hata ukisoma kitabu cha <laughs> ukisoma kitabu cha Luka mtakatifu 19 saba. sitasoma njisome Yesu anaitisha hao hao wanaotusumbua Yesu anawaitisha tuwachinje tena nyimo wako ba kuchinja Eh hey, inasema au wana wasiotaka tuwatawale waleteni mbele zangu na mwachinje. Kwa hivyo msiwaone huruma wakati wa vita ni wanini? Ni wavita. Kwa hivyo ni lazima uchukue upanga katika kitabu cha Waebeso sita. Kumi. Ina, Mungu mwenyewe akisema tuvae silaha. Alijua kuna wachawi, kuna waganga, kuna mashetani na uyawesi bila upanga. Haleluya. Inchi yetu mnaenda kubarikiwa, watoto wenu wanaenda kufunguliwa. Nyumba zenu zinaenda kurudi kwa amani. Siongei nikibahatisha. Hii maneno niliyaongea nikimi. Katiba inaku, inasema nini? Nikamwambia rais wangu hapa na mwenzake. Mnaenda katiba ikiwa miaka tano Nikawaambia walikuja wakiwa wawili Mombasa. Nikawaambia mnaenda kumi. Imetimia au maijatimia? Eh, ni mimi mtu wa kwanza. Wakati walikuwa wanachukiwa sana, wanaitwa majina hiyo majina nikaenda mbinguni nikamwambia Mungu ondoe hiyo majina hiyo wanaitwa. Lakini nashukuru mbingu siliendelea na kunionyesha mengi. Nilionyeshwa ile vita ataenda nayo kutoka 2017 na Mbingu sikanipa kibali sikaniambia Talima Kenya nzima na vita nilimletewa nikiwa nime akiwa amenunua tingatinga mpya na hiyo tingatinga ilikuwa na power sana sasa mimi nami nikajiona niko hapa angani ndani ya wingu nikaambiwa muangalie sasa ile vita anaenda kukutana nayo hiyo ni 2017 na pale nilikuwa ndiyo nimetoka hospitalini walinisaidia sana nilipopata accident baada ya kuwaombea nilipata accident nikakuwa inji za Ulaya karibu miaka sita. nimekuwa na shida nyingi lakini nashukuru ninatembea hata ukiniona natembea hivi sehemu moja nimepupa sehemu mwingine ni machuma lakini nashukuru Mungu so Mungu akaniambia atapigana amalize nilikuwa naona anachimba mawe masito anachimba anachimba inapebenjeka Anapita anangua miti, anapita mpaka kalima yote ikaisha. Baadaye niliona inchi imekuwa na mahindi makubwa sana. Chakula kimejaa kwa shamba. Kenya nzima ilikuwa ni green. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. 
Sasa from now hata si, si hakuna kutabiri na waambia amani imeingia katika nchi. Amani imeingia wapi? Msingoje tena ati vitu vingine imekwisha. Sema kwisha. Si useme hakuna tena. Si utamuka na sauti. Tumekataa maneno yote mbaya. Unajua naisema kama matani, si matani na kuambia imetendeka. Kwa hivyo nataka kukuambia jitayarishe kuna mambo mengi sana Mungu atanena ameniena na mimi na kunijulisha na naomba ufanye bidii sana hii hawa hii hawa ndio watakuwa kwa hawa sababu ulimwengu angiza nimeshukuru sana wale walikuwa kiongoza wamezungumzia kuhusu kuabudu sanamu ndio imepiga nchi yetu na ukosefu wa mbwa pale kabla hujachukua kiti Mbingu ilinionyesha. Tulikuwa sawa. Lakini baada ya wewe kuchukua kiti, kuna kitu iliyape ni sita isema. Na ilipo fanyika mbingu ikaniambia, sasa imefanyika itanyesha. Nikauliza Mungu ni kwa nini? Kwa sasa andaeni mashamba yenu, mnaenda kuona mabadiliko kupitia mkutano huu wa siku ya leo. Amen. Amen. Tukio tumesimama hivyo. Uh, we are the corporate church. When believers come together, we form the corporate church together. The anointing increases, authority, power, and grace is much. So as we make this declaration, I would just take just two minutes uh, because the rest of our leaders have taken... Uh, much of the time which is good because we are here to rule there are several things a pastor does a pastor teaches shepherds in of caring feeding and guiding and so forth but there's one thing that we often rarely do as a church the shepherd also rules now it's time to rule in the spirit ask your neighbor are you ready Wow, stretch your hand to heaven as you make these declarations. Father, we declare that Kenya has come to a special time. The shift has begun. And we thank you for the corporate anointing right here right now on this ground. That is here, young and old, all of us together, we bring our faith in this hour to declare my God that the shift has started in this year of the Lord 2023 we are stretching our hand in heaven to declare in the name that is above every name this is the name of Jesus that Kenya will never be the same again economically we are declaring Lord Kenya has come to 60 years Kenya at 60 as we stretch our hand prophetically we know as 60 years as I'm declaring this listen to me uh, both government and my colleagues in the gospel Kenya has come to 60 years and biblically 60 years means that someone can redeem themselves that number 60 means someone can redeem themselves right now Kenya has had so much death so much you know uh, shall I say but this is a year for Kenya to redeem herself declare that in a minute we declare redemption for Kenya the debt cannot hold us forever the covenants and strange agreements that were done over 60 years ago can no longer hold Kenya anymore we declare in the spirit through the power of redemption, Jesus who died on the cross gave us help. We declare here today that this is to redeem this bondage and oh God, the limitations of long death. This is the year. May the system crack in the 
May there be a way where there was no way. May there be a breakthrough. Oh my God, we declare today, Kenya is experiencing unusual breakthrough from today. And we announce in this atmosphere, we repented in the morning, we received grace, we are now good by faith. Therefore we change and we declare, Kenya, you shall not crawl. Kenya, you shall not be limited. Kenya, you shall not be hindered anymore. We declare this is the time for you to run, for you to grow, for you to go higher economically. Oh my God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we declare this nation is experiencing revival. Souls getting saved. People getting healed, the gospel entering every home, every school, every institution, every government office. Prayer rising everywhere. Sound rising everywhere. We declare a new generation of preachers are rising. The youth are rising. The women are rising. The children are rising. The fathers are rejoicing. Father, we thank you for this nation. And Lord, finally we declare, we are grateful. You've given us a Joseph. You've given us a Daniel. You've given us a Esther. You've given us a Joshua. Oh my God. You have given us leaders in the state who fear God. We declare the anointing, the grace, the mandate of heaven is upon them. They will be wise. They'll, come on, somebody declare. They will be wise. They will be knowledgeable. They will be full of understanding. Oh my God. They will lead this nation to the next level. Kenya has been born again. Kenya needs discipleship. We declare. Kenya, you will be baptized. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. In the name of the Holy Ghost. Come on, shout for Jesus. Hallelujah. What was so far? Hallelujah. Right. Turn around and tell your neighbor, Kenya is at 60 and it's time to redeem ourselves from past wrongs. Peperusha bendera, peperusha bendera, peperusha bendera. Peperusha mahali popoto mesimama. Peperusha bendera ya taifa letu. Kenya kwa miaka stini. Kwa miaka stini. Miaka stini. Tunajikomboa. Kwa minyororo ya giza. Tunajikomboa. Kwa madeni na marat. Tunajikomboa. Peperusha kila mahali. Yesu ni Bwana. Hallelujah. 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 Peperusha bendera popote. Peperusha peperusha. Peperusha peperusha. Oh hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Reka shoka bela ba. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Lord. Kenya, you are blessed. Kenya, you are favored. Kenya, you are blessed. You are favored, Kenya. You are favored, Kenya. You are blessed, Kenya. Somebody shout, shout. The shout of victory. We are blessed. We are above. And never be need. Kenya is triumph. Hey! Glory. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. You will care, Jirani Mambia Mimi in Kenya. Nani Najifunia Kwam Kenya. Nami Mini Musalendo. Na kuanzia leo nitaendelea kutangaza ya kwamba ufufio ya kiuchumi 
ya kiroho katika taifa letu inaanza kuinuka na kuinuka na kuinuka na kuinuka na kuinuka hey kuinuka hey hallelujah thank you holy spirit wangapi wana hizi tayari sasa tunaingia maeneo nyingine unajua watu wakishatubu wanyenyekee mbele za bwana wanaanza kutembelea katika upepo wa kujibiwa maombi. Na tayari Bwana amefanya hivyo. Kabla tupokee Dr. Lai aje atupeleke katika kiwango hiyo nyingine. Nime, nimesema Dr. Lai, Dr. Wilfred Lai yuko hapa pamoja na sisi. Ningependa nipatie uh, Solomon kwa dakika moja tupeperushe hizo bendera kisha daktari atakuja kutuingiza katika kiwango nyingine maana leo Kenya Bwana ametukumbuka zaidi ya yote utabaki kuwa Mungu tu alfa na omega uh, ubadiliki kamwe zaidi na zaidi ya yote utabaki kuwa Utabaki kuwa 
Utabaki kuwa Utabaki kuwa Na kwa nakanisa letu Na kwa nji yetu Kwa familia zetu Kwa ekonomi yetu Zaidi Utabaki kuwa mungu Ama na omega Upadiliki kama Zaidi na zaidi Kila siku kila saa Sana na usiku Zaidi ya yote Utabaki kuwa mungu Sana na usiku Mande tu mande Zaidi ya yote Hallelujah. To some one as if he were one as if he were to go up a Chana Waleo Kutangaza Ushindi Wabwana. Yes, to Christo Ametupa Ushindi. Ambia Jirani, yes, to Ametupa Ushindi. Uh, I have been I have been given a, a time to uh, bring this meeting to the next level. We're going to do two things. We are going to make spiritual declaration that Kenya will never be the same again. We're going to look at two scriptures. To establish what we are going to do to make that declaration a reality. Uh, I want I want to say this in the book of Job twenty two and verse twenty eight. The Bible there says, "A man shall decree a thing." And it shall be established for him. The declarations that have been made here. They have been made by men of God. The Bible says a man will decree a thing. And God will establish it for, for him. All the declarations. I begin by saying this. All the declarations that have been made here. The Lord God who hears and answers by fire has established them. We are going to make serious declarations about our economy. When the economy is sick... We can't move forward. And the economy of Kenya cannot move forward unless the Kenyans become one. There are all kinds of uh, divisive demonic powers that have been released to divide us. In Genesis chapter 1, a man, chapter 11 of Genesis, a man called Nimrod, he called the people together to build. And I want to read just a few verses. It says in verse 1, Now the whole earth had one language and one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shina. And they dwelt there. 
Then they said one to one another, Come, let us make bricks and bake them thoroughly. They made brick for stone and they had asphalt for mortar. And they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower whose top is in the heavens. Let us make a name for ourselves, lest we be scattered abroad over the face of the whole earth. But the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the sons of men are built. And the Lord said, Indeed, the people are one, and they all have one language. And this is what they began to do. Now, nothing that they purpose to do will be withheld from them. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Unity is power. Everybody say it with me. Unity is power. Division is weakness. Unity is power. The first generation of humanity, they spoke the same language. They had a leader who had a vision. And he told the people to come together to make bricks. To build a city and a tower that would go all the way to heaven. The fear was that somebody may come and scatter them. Therefore, Nimrod put the people together and they began to work. And they worked so hard that it took the attention of heaven. We cannot grow an economy when people are not working. We must work to grow the economy. We can't work when there are no jobs. We must create jobs. Our young people cannot work when they sleep in the nightclubs drinking. We must stop the spirit of drunkenness. This country is moving from glory to glory. We have a leader who has a vision. And we are going to rally behind him as a nation. I keep wondering why people never stop making noise. I wonder why. I love soccer and uh, sometimes my club gets beaten and I get very angry but before the match is over <laughs> the the manager shake hands the one who lost accepts that they they lost and they can play again the one who wins goes out rejoicing kenya does not know how to do this for many years but i am here to say god has done this and it is irreversible And let those who think otherwise go and consort with him before they, want, they try to divide us. 
Our country needs peace. We need unity. Everybody has a right to demonstrate, including myself, if I'm unhappy because it is constitutional. But Kenyans now don't have food. The land is dry. To go to the streets, we need to go to the farms to grow food. Do we need to continue to use young people that do not have jobs? Or do we need to create jobs for them? I like what the scripture says. Nimrod called the people together. Your excellency. We are all behind you. Even those that don't look like they, they are behind you. Kenya is behind you. Because you are our president and we cannot have two presidents. I want to say, as a prophet of God, in this land, no weapon that is formed against this land shall prosper. Every voice of a man that rises up against what God has done, we as the people of God condemn. We condemn the voices of division. We condemn the voices of them that are not satisfied with our systems. We are a country of law. When our highest court rules about anything, it's over. Like when the Rivari even when the referee makes a mistake, he has been given authority to blow the whistle and declare the goal has gone in and it is a goal. Or declare that it was offside. And our Supreme Court blew the whistle. These other whistleblowers, I don't know where they were when they could have blown the whistle. I stand here, I'm not a politician, I am a voice of God. I stand here to make declarations, they shall be established. I have faith in the God that I have served all these years. He is able to do everything. I love a scripture that we that we we say every day in my church when we gather second chronicles second corinthians i'm sorry chapter 9 and verse 8 the bible says and god is able look at your neighbor tell them god is able i love this god is able to make all grace grace is the unmerited favor it comes from god i decree under the anointing this year in kenya grace will abound in our economy we will not continue to borrow God is going to bless our land. We will lend to others. We are going to be delivered from borrowing. And God Almighty is going to help us to come out of our debts. We are coming out of our We are coming out of debt. If Jehovah came down to see what the sons of men were doing when they were rebelling against him, how much more when we rally together as a nation, 
and begin to work and make our nation a 24 hour economy where our young people will not go in the streets because they have nothing else to do they will have work to do God is able to make grace abound towards us so that Kenya will have all sufficiency in all things I declare Kenya will have sufficiency in all things and an abundance I say it in an abundance for every good work. If you believe it, put your hands together and, and shout unto God with a voice of triumph. God said about the, re the rebellious people, he said, come, look at what they have begun to do. They are one. They speak the same language. Nothing that they imagine to do will be impossible for them. And I am saying, nothing that Kenya, I said I prophesy. I am prophesying over the land. Nothing that Kenya will imagine to do under the leadership that fears God of our president dr william samoy ruto nothing that we will imagine to do will be impossible for us now you could, you should have said amen i am winding up here i'll tell you what we need to do When Archbishop Nanga was here talking about prayer, he said, uh, Elijah put his legs, his head between. else there will need to be an offering and that's the next thing I am going to talk about there will need to be an offering and this is going to be the first offering it is just going to be a sign of the offering that we will give because this is not going to be the last gathering like this it is the beginning and let me tell you When the people of God worship God in the spirit and in truth, they bring an offering of honor to him. They honor God. You see, we have made declarations. We must act. We must put our offering somewhere to clean up our money in Kenya. They are called holy offerings. And we want to put the holy offerings in a basket that everything in it may not be holy. So that the holy heals the unholy
we are going to receive an offering here and i'm going to appeal to all these men of god and when we go back to our churches we are going to ask our members to gather a holy offering to cleanse the money in the Kenya treasury. And we will put it in the treasury so that this economy, so that, hear me, so that this economy will be governed by God and grace will bring sufficiency and grace will bring an abundance for the big dream that our president has. Sir, it shall surely happen. Because God has heard our prayer led by, by you who fears God and prays to the God that we pray to. Now, we're going to begin here. How many people are ready to do something that this gathering will make a statement in heaven? that we are one and nothing that we imagine to do will be impossible for us how many people want to make a statement how many people want to make a statement i want to make a statement and we're gonna give an offering and those of you who may not even be here you're watching by television you're watching us wherever you may be you are a god fearing believer in this country join us right now give an offering for kenya we are not giving an offering to pay bills we are giving an offering to heal kenya we are telling god we are tired of hearing promises we want to see results we want to have food on our tables i say to the hustlers in our church you only have one year to hustle you're not going to be hustlers for a long time you need to get out of hustling and begin to have an impact in the society and all hustlers can become millionaires I heard just a few amens you know you know I'm a preacher who likes who likes people to respond I said all hustlers can become millionaires by the grace of God when this economy becomes a 24-hour economy and all our young boys and young girls are working and working and working. Kenya is a land of hard working people. We will have no debt with anybody. We will begin to lend to, to others. We will pay off our debt. When this thing that we are beginning to do now. And we're going to go back to the churches and gather an offering for Kenya I tell you the story of this nation will have changed can we give an offering now how many people are ready to give an offering let me see by a raise of hand I want you to take a good offering an offering of honor proverbs 3 9 
The Bible says, honor the Lord with your substance. And with the first fruits of your increase. So shall your bounds. Bank accounts. Of the we filled with plenty. No sickness will eat up our finances. May the Lord heal the land. May the Lord heal the land. May the offering that we are about to give right now begin the healing process. Get in your pocket. Take out an offering and take your money bag. I want to bless your money bag. Ladies, I know you you carry your 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 bags, men carry their wallets. We are going to honor God. I think they will give us information about you know these days people this technology has made us a different money is in the is in the form so please the pay bill is on the screen uh, look at your neighbor tell them this is a prophetic offering it will change your story lift it up before the Lord Father, I thank you and I praise you for you hear and answer when we pray by faith. Let our national anthem, O oh God, begin to mean something. Let it begin to mean what the words in it mean. I ask that you bless this land, this our nation. May we dwell in unity, O oh God. And may this offering that we are giving, may it bring a healing to our monies. May it bring a healing to our economy. Because we are giving it unto you for the healing of our land. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. As we continue to give our offering... Um, I want to welcome the praise and worship to take us to the next level. Wale ambayo mwanape wana chirokota ama wanapeana fikapu vya sadaka wako kila mahali na kwa hivyo mfanya hivyo pole pole mkua tumu metulia na mungu uzima atawabariki. Mbaka kule pia ngambo ile ama ukiona kikapu haijo kufikia unaeza tremuka kwenye iso na nio Jesus Teas na kujia mbaka chini na utabarikiwa. Karibu praise and worship. Asante. Inuka Chiti yengubu Simana Umshindi Tawala Unakibali Msaidisi wako you know me a call You know me a
Nepewa uwezo Kwa roho wa mungu Usife moyo mteule Ufambe ni wako Umrini Pamoja na yesu Nieleze che mteule Ulivyo na mbubu Umepewa uwezo Kwa roho wa mungu Moyo mteule Ufalme ni wako Umridi we Pamoja na Yesu Inuka Inuka Titiengu Titiengu Mwana Hadi mwisho Wada hari Inua macho Mteule Uone mbali Kizala toweka Kwa pamba zuka Nikueleze Mteule Akuachi Yehova Hadi mwisho
Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Bwana peo sifa sana. Msaidizi wako yuko ndani yako. Na bila shaka kwa sababu yuko ndani yako kufanikiwa utafanikiwa. Asante sana mtumishi wa Bwana Dr. Wilfred Lai kwa mwongozo wa uponyaji wa economy ya taifa letu. Na wakati alikuwa anatangaza maneno hayo nimehisi kabisa ya kwamba katika msimu huu mambo yanatendeka katika taifa letu. Mheshimiwa Rais tutaendelea zaidi tuta, tumebakisha mambo machache tunaelekea kumaliza maombezi yetu ya siku ya leo na kwa hivyo kuna mambo machache kwa sababu nimeona tayari mawingu zimeanza kuji zimeanza mawingu na hatuta <laughs> nimesema mawingu zimeanza yeah. nimeona tukianza bishop laya akihubiri ilikuwa anaona moja kama mkono ya mwanadamu sasa nimeanza kuona imeanza kukusanyika na tunaenda kwa hivyo wale ambayo bado wanatoa sadaka naambiwa bado wale wa kuna watu walikuwa hawajashika ilitoka kabla waja wajaweka vizuri kwa hivyo uh, undugu zangu mweke tu kwa screen kidogo ili kila mtu wapate atutaki mtu apitwe na hiyo nafasi na yale mtumishi wa Mungu Bishop Lai amesema tutaenda kufanya mnakumbuka agano ya chumvi katika Biblia ya kwamba baada ya nabii kuchukua chumvi kidogo akaenda kuweka kwenye chemichemi ya maji Mungu akaponya yale maji na hivyo ndivyo na tunashukuru sana kwa neno hilo la kiunabii na kwa mara ya kwanza tutaponya pesa ya Kenya Asante kwa imani mbili tutaponya pesa ya Kenya Yes tutaponya kanisa tutatoa sadaka tuta raise pesa takatifu na tupeleke kwenye treasury tuiweke ndani tuseme ekonomi ya Kenya pona katika jina la Yesu na wateule wote waseme amen yale ambayo tumebakisha um, Thank you apostle. Thank you so very much. Tunashauriana kwa mambo. Now yale inafuata baada ya declaration tunaenda kuweka mikononi mwa Bwana kulingana na methali 16 mstari wa tatu Biblia inasema umkabidhi Bwana kazi zako na mawazo yako yathadibitika. Rais wetu mpendwa anayo mpango kwa ajili ya taifa letu ana plan na hiyo plan yuko hapa kuna vitabu ziko kila mahali ziko kila mahali hizo plan uh, naomba apostle nipe moja hapo uh, nafikiri kila mtu anafaa kuwa nayo especially hapa juu na vile vile kule mheshimiwa rais tumehisi katika mioyo yetu baada ya kutubu na kumulilia bwana na kuomba mipango lio nayo kwa ajili ya wakenya tutaenda kuweka mikononi mwa Bwana tunaenda kuipeana kwa Mungu kumwambia Mungu mipango hii Bwana inawezekana ukihusika asante sana watu yetu ya screen mipango hii inawezekana Mungu ukihusika kwa hivyo mheshimiwa rais tutaenda kufanya tendo la kiunabii ambayo we mwenyewe pamoja na naibu wako mutashika hiyo plan na kina baba hawa bishop makarioki bishop eh, akbishop kitonga bishop josphat muthe wa wado faith na vile vile uh, bishop mofat klioba watasimama na kuipokea hiyo mipango ambayo Mungu amekupatia kwa ajili ya taifa letu na kisha wakishaipokea wao utaikabidhi mkiwa na naibu wako alafu kisha ukishawakabidhi jambo lingine utawakabidhi ni bendera yetu hiyo ni kusema kwamba taifa letu hili la Kenya itaendelea kuwa mikononi mwa Mungu kwa sababu tunapopatia watumishi wa Mungu kama ishara ni kusema kwamba tumeipatia inchi hii Mungu na watumishi hao hao nimewataja 
wataenda kufanya maombezi na vile vile minister Sali atakuwa kati ya wale ambaye watakuwa na simama na kufanya matangazo ya mambo hayo na kuiombea hiyo plan na Mungu wetu atatubariki. Kwa hivyo ninaomba kwa unyenyekevu wote uh, uh, maaskofu wetu wasimame tu mahali walipo watoke mbele kidogo kisha rais pamoja na naibu wake uh, na first lady wetu pamoja na na mama uh, mama at the spouse of the uh, uh, deputy president pamoja na uh, wasimame tu pia pamoja na our minister Uh, prime minister uh, no, uh, cabinet prime tunajifunza na hiyo bado haijaingia alafu wasimame tu wakiwa wameshika hizo plan uh, naona pia ministers wawili wako hapo uh, cabinet uh, secretary wawili wasimame pia alafu watumishi wa Mungu wale nimewataja watasimama hapo mbele waipokee waimbaji naomba tusimame wote wa uh, kanisa mzima tusimame kule tunapopokea watumishi wa Mungu um, nafikiri tutasonga hapo mbele kidogo alafu mutaikabidhi kiunabii watumishi msimame pande moja rais pamoja na viongozi wengine pande nyingine wanaenda kuikabidhi kuipatia na kisha tukishachukua ma watumishi wa bwana watakuja hapa madhabahuni wakiwa wameshika hizo plan wanaleta hapa wanaendelea kufanya matangazo uh, alafu kisha tutaendelea asante sana yes rais asante kabidhi waikabidhi Deputy President pia peana yako pamoja na mama. Asante sana. Wanaipatia taifa letu. Ile mpango wako nayo unaipatia Mungu kulingana na methali. Asante sasa watumishi mnaweza kuja hapa kwa madhabahu tuipeane hiyo plan kwa Mungu katika jina la Kristo. Tuketi. Aimbaji. Ah bendera, bendera ik... Sawa tu bendera ita ita, ita iko na wakati wake. Njoni tu iko na muda wake ya mwisho napo rais anapo kuna wakati mwingine bado so ndapatia bishop makarioki alafu watafanya matangazo wakiweka hii wote minister sali where are you This is a very very important occasion as we gather here as an apostolic team and receive the Kenya Kwanza plan bottom up economic transformation agenda it is god who gives a dream and every leader has a dream for the people he, they are leading and when god gives you a dream that dream will be attacked but it shall not die we are here to we are standing here to declare that the, every dream that god has given to our president may be attacked but it shall not die it shall come to fulfillment in this nation and in our time in the scriptures we read in deuteronomy 20 from verse 1 when you go out to battle when you go out to battle not if you go out to battle That means life is a is is a battle. Business, doing business is a battle. Politics is a battle. Raising children is a battle. Having a vision is a battle. Having a manifesto is a battle. But he says, when you go out to battle and you see your enemies, they will seem greater than you. Your dream will look greater than your ability but the word of the lord comes and says fear not fear not when the lord says fear not it means 
there are giants ahead. There are battles ahead. Then, he, then when you read on, it says, then the priest will stand before the people. In other words, don't you dare go to battle without a spiritual authority. And we are so glad that our president recognizes the spiritual authority. So he's, he says the priest will stand. What is the work of the priest? The work of the priest is to say, we are standing with you. You will make it. Keep going. Keep fighting. Keep moving. Don't look back. Look ahead. Keep going because you are covered. A spiritual authority operates in the spiritual realm. Therefore, we stand here as an apostolic team and the entire battalion here operating in the spiritual realm and telling every demonic force that has been sent to try and prevent this dream from coming to pass shall not prevail. It shall not prevail. That the, the dream that God has given to our president shall come to pass because it is the dream that is going to lift you and I up. So we shall say, fear not. Why? Because God is with you. God is with you. There are prophetic words that have been uttered here. And you shall live to see the fulfillment of those words in the name of Jesus Christ. And as an apostolic team, we lift up this document. We lift up this document and we pray and say, Oh God, our Father, as we stand on this ground, we lift up the dreams that you have given to your servant, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, for the people of this nation. And as we lift it up to you, we pray that Lord, as you gave Joseph the wisdom to articulate the dream of the Pharaoh and to bring it to come to pass, that Lord, you will give to our president, our deputy president, the chief cabinet, and the entire government, the wisdom to fulfill these dreams. Lord, we pray that in our midst, you will raise the technocrats who will understand the dream of our president. And after, our, after their understanding, run with it and bring it to implementation. Oh God, give us men and women of Vela, men and women who will do the work of ten men in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that you will cause our business people to exploit business, to prosper in business until our taxes pay all the debts that are, we owe as a nation in the name of Jesus Christ. That prosperity shall be manifested in this nation. That a simple man and simple woman will rise up and become a millionaire, multi-millionaires, billionaires in the name of Jesus. Give to the Kenyans the zeal to work, the joy to work, that they may all come to a place of harvest. We thank you, Father, and we bless you because you hear us when we pray. 
because we pray in Jesus name and everybody said amen, amen. everybody said amen weka kidole namna hii weka kidole namna hii sema Kenya Kenya oh Kenya sema kwa sauti Kenya oh Kenya Kenya oh Kenya hear the word of the lord spoken here today you are season of prosperity has begun you are season of famine has come to an end in jesus name amen Amen. Thank you, Bishop. Let us continue in that mode of prayer. Precious Father, we bring our nation Kenya before you today, standing on the book of destiny that you have written about Kenya. We come to commit the destiny of our nation today. Father, we know that this is your government, your chosen government, and this is your chosen leader for us. And we know that your hand is upon this leader and this government so we have confidence when we come before your throne of mercy and grace because we have irrefutable evidence that you hear us and you answer our prayers lord we come to you because our president has a vision your word says write the vision down that the people may read it and run with it our president has written his vision down we, his mighty men of valor, have read that vision and we are running with it. We now wish to commit the enablers that will enable this plan to succeed. Father, we come before you regarding our healthcare system. We come before you, Father, because Jeremiah 36 6 says, The Lord gives us health and healing. So, Father, we know that a healthy people is a healthy society which makes a productive society a healthy nation is a wealthy nation we pray for wisdom and skill in the establishment and operations of our healthcare system that is all inclusive affordable and accessible to all we pray lord for our president's vision for the healthcare lord we know of his vision for the nssf dear lord father we pray that our minds be open the minds of every kenyan will be open to see the long-term benefits not to resist this vision dear lord that we may run with it lord and support our president 101 percent we silence every negative voice that seeks to come against the plan you have given our president concerning the healthcare system father we decree and declare that as we embrace this vision for our healthcare system, we shall be a people who are physically, mentally, and emotionally healthy to the glory of your holy name. Father, we commit the infrastructure and we decree, Father, we know that as a nation, we must have solid and sound physical and organizational systems, structures and facilities for the smooth and successful operations and functions of our society and nation. And for the improvement of individual productivity towards achieving social and economic objectives of the nation. So, Father, we pray for the necessary resources, the workmanship, the skills towards this goal. Divine strategies, dear Lord. We arise in authority. We reject shortcuts. We reject substandard outcomes, oh God. We reject every manner of hindrances in this sector, Lord that comes to cause our infrastructure to be shoddy and to fail. Father, we decree that Kenya shall operate with godly foundations and infrastructures that will, in, will then guide the physical infrastructure. So, Father, we thank you for this infrastructure enabler. We thank you, Father, for an empowered human capital. Lord, Hosea 4, 6 says, My people perish for lack of knowledge. Father, we know that an educated and skilled human capital enhances development and leads to a wealthy nation. 
Education helps to shape people into model citizens who add value to their nation. So we are praying today, Father, in unity for wisdom for our leaders in the education sector to establish the right education system. Give them wisdom, Father. Release your supernatural wisdom from your throne room, Lord, that we will get it right this time around, Jehovah God, for the sake of our nation and our people. Father, we decree that Kenya shall be a nation of people who are empowered with the right knowledge, whose talents and gifts are sharpened and harnessed, O oh Lord, for the development of our nation, dear Lord. Another enabler, which is the women folk in our nation, dear Lord. In Proverbs 3.15, it says a woman is more precious than rubies. Father, we know that women are a pillar in any society and nation. Shape and direct values, dear Lord. A nation that respects, honors, involves, empowers its women. And that recognizes and appreciates their role and value in nation building is a healthy and wealthy nation and pleases God. Thank you, Lord, for giving us a president who embraces the women of Kenya and recognizes their value. Lord, we thank you for the wisdom of the Abigails, the strategies of the Esthers, the courage of the Deborahs, and the travailing spirit of the Hannahs, just to mention a few. Lord, we decree God's divine, uh, divine order concerning gender. Father, we shall not to define order when it comes to gender issues, dear Father. We decree that Kenya shall be a nation where men and women work in harmony in nation building. Put the plan and the vision that you have given to our king, our president. We come to another enabler that is social protection, dear Lord. Jeremiah 29 11 says, God's plans for us are for a hope and a future. Lord, we know that when people's welfare is taken care of, they will thrive. And in, in effect, the nation will thrive. So, Father, we pray against poverty, disease, ignorance, hopelessness, despair, depression, all the risks that come in a nation, Lord. We decree that Kenya shall be a people, shall be a nation of a people with hope, with ambition, with purpose and destiny, dear Lord. So we pray for the enhancement of social protection in our nation. We pray for governance, good governance, dear Lord. Your word in Psalms 14, 34 says, Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach. Father, a nation where process making and enforcing decisions, maintaining order, just structures, fair systems, a judiciary that is not perverse, and administration and political institutions that are fair and just, following due process and the rule law, will thrive under the hand of God. So, Father, we pray for good governance in every sphere and sector of our nation. We decree and declare, Father, that the nation of Kenya is founded on godly governance that upholds all structures and systems, dear Lord. So we thank you, dear Lord, because you are establishing this for the sake of the vision of our King. Lord, we pray for security. Proverbs 35, 26. We stand also on Proverbs 3, 26 to 35 that says, The Lord is our security. And also Psalms 91. Lord, we, we come to you, Father, because we know a nation where, where people feel secure for their lives and their property will be a first developing nation. We pray against banditry, tribal clashes, terrorism. We pray that those fueling them are exposed and every hidden wicked agenda is revealed in the name of Jesus. Father, we lift up our CS, Professor Kindiki, at this particular time and that you will give him supernatural wisdom, Father, to address that issue. We also stand on the directives, Father, that our president released, O oh God, to disarm all illegal arms, O oh God. He is the president you have given us. He made a decree and a directive. And we know that you back it up, dear Lord. So in those three days, my father, we decree and declare that the president's directive will be obeyed to the glory of your holy name, Father. And those banditries and chaos shall cease. We decree divine order in every area of our nation, peaceful coexistence and wisdom in conflict resolution. And Father, we also come to the public service, dear Lord, as we stand on Romans 13, Galatians 5, 1 Peter 2, 13 to 14. We decree, Father, we know that seasoned servanthood in our public sector and service given out of a servant heart is a key ingredient to a thriving nation. 
So we pray for public servants that are accountable. Corruption-free dealings. Strong institutions in our public sector, Lord. Father, we, we, we come against the demon of corruption. We arise in authority, Father. And we step on the head of that serpent that is called corruption. We reject it. We refuse it. We resist it. We uproot it from our nation, from our hearts, from our businesses, from every sector of our nation, dear Lord. And we decree, Father, that our public sector will serve with true servant hearts, dear Lord. We decree that Kenya shall be a nation of people who serve with integrity and passion, sincerely desiring the welfare of their people and nation. And Father, as we come to close, we pray for the foreign policy and regional integration of our nation, dear Lord. We know that a nation is at peace when a nation is at peace with its neighbors and adopts fair trade and social practices, it will thrive. We pray for mutually beneficial relationships, regionally and internationally. We pray for a foreign policy that does not oppress or prejudice the interest of our nation. We pray for wisdom in entering treaties, even as we deny and cancel any unfair treaties that seeks to undermine our nation. We pray for wisdom and skills in resolving international disputes. We pray for a foreign policy that promotes foreign investments. Lord, we decree that Kenya globally shall be favored. It shall be the head and not the tail, forever above and ever beneath. We lift up our CS Mutua and his team, and we pray for investments in our nation. Father, we thank you. We honor you and we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. May I request that we all stand up. Even as Chikaraba Sikamaya Saka Rubas Maya Ashas, please. Ladies, please. Even as we are standing up like that, I want to speak only one word and then we pray because of this plan. I really thank God that this is a national altar. And the kind of uh, declarations that are going to be made here, the prayers that are going to be made here, they have the ability of His Excellency our president, who is the authority in the land, the legal authority. And we as the spiritual authority, we are going to make some declarations over this. Because this will come to pass. We want to declare this is not just going to remain in paper. It's going to come to pass. It will come to pass. At the beginning of this year, the Lord told us that this year is the year of the Lord, the commander of the heavenly armies. Whatever it will take for him to, you know, whatever battle, whatever battle is ahead, he will fight it for us. Let's pray. Because it's too hot. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. When Joshua was just about to enter the land of the inheritance. When you wanted to give space to the children of Israel. You came as the Lord of the heavenly armies. And the first thing you did is to knock down Jericho. 
before you started to bring down all kinds of kings and give the land to their people to your people we stand here with this plan that the, his excellency has put down there are battles that need to be fought in this land we welcome you through the border of, of Somalia the border of Tanzania the border of Uganda the border of southern Sudan and the border of Ethiopia come 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 into this nation and we welcome you my God through the air come my God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and even as you told your servant Zerubbabel, the battle is not my, yours but mine. We declare that the battle is not a battle of the present government. It is your battle. It is in your hands right now. And even as we pray for this Kenya Kwanzaa plan, my God, in the name of Jesus, we plan you execute. Be pleased to come and execute this plan on behalf of our president and on behalf of this nation for your glory and praise. We bless you today even for men and women that will have this in their hands to drive it forward. And we pray my God that you will grant them the wisdom, the knowledge, the skills, and above all the goodwill that is needed so that this plan can come to pass. And from this platform, as the apostolic council we declare, there are battles that are being fought in the heavenly realm that are translating themselves down here. But we declare from today, whether it is in the political storm, whether it is realm, those battles are over in the name of Jesus and work. It's time that God makes our journey easy. We declare that in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Now to the end, I am going to pray. All of you must join me as I pray for the president and his deputy and the entire families. First, I want to assure all of you, Kenya. Country and God will be in control because we put all trust in our Almighty God. And the way God controls the children of Israel in the wilderness, God is going to control Kenya, and all the enemies will be surprised. Kenya wants a plan. The bottom of economic transformation agenda 2017 will be totally fulfilled. Because this is a vision God gave to His Excellency and other leaders who are under Him. And this is going to be accomplished to transform Kenya. And uh, today is a day which is going to change Kenya in a way that will never be, will never understand. Because God is in control and God is going to take care of everything, whatever we do. Because we have listened to His voice from in the morning. And many other saints, they are together with us. God, as I go now to pray for His Excellency and His Deputy, I give them scripture in the Bible, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28. This was the word God gave to Moses, to the children of Israel. Now it shall come to pass, Deuteronomy 20 verse 1. If you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God to observe carefully all his commandments which I command you today, 
That the Lord your God will set you on a high above all nations. That is going to happen to Kenya from today. And all this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you because you obey the voice of the Lord. Blessed you be in the city, blessed you be in the country. You shall, you are the, blessed shall be the fruit of your body. Verse 5. Blessed shall be the basket of your kneading bowl. All the money you need is you, you'll see, the, you'll see money coming to help, to help you to control this nation or to lead this nation in a miraculous, miraculous way. Verse 8, the Bible says, Verse 7, pardon me. The Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before you, before you are faced. They shall come against you one way and they flee seven ways. That scripture is going to be fulfilled today. From today. Our, our president heard the voice of God. And that's why we had a a prayer in Akuru led by the second lady, Her Excellency Rachel uh, Dokas Ruto. And now this one was organized by the first lady, Her Excellency Rachel Ruto. Listen to me. Dokas Ligade, pardon me. From today, there is going to be a change you have never seen again before in this nation. And God will open a blessing for all of you who came here. And we are going to declare peace, 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 peace. We don't want policy which has no meaning, which has, is not following the scriptures. We want follow it for politics which is going according to the word of God. And I want to thank, you, to thank all of you who came here. We are going now to declare peace in the nation, every corner. And as I go to prepare now, to pray now for the president and his deputy, something special is going to happen. I have done that to many presidents in Africa and beyond. And now time for Ruto has come. And the deputy, His Excellency, Honorable Ruto, his time has come. I want you to bow down, to, to, to open up your, uh, you know, to stretch up your hands. Stretch your hands to where the deputy, His Excellency, the president is. And his deputy, where they are and their women. Can you come closer to one another, please? I want all of you people to see you and we stretch your hands to where you are. Just be close to one another. You are what you are. Mukovila mulivyo kwa sababu ya uongozi wa kusikia sauti ya bwana. Na saa hii tukiendelea na kuendelea na kumaliza. Nataka mungu atende kia maajabu. God is going to perform miracles upon you. And this vision today, since the beginning of this nation, we have never had a, a, a time like this. This is historical time. And we are not here to fear. We are here to speak the voice of God. Peace is going to control Kenya. Peace is going to control every corner, every county in 47 counties. And those enemies who are going to come against the president or his leadership, they will come one way and they flee how many ways? Seven ways they will flee according to the word of God. God has heard our cry and is going to fulfill what is written. Heaven and I shall pass away, but the word of God will be fulfilled. My dear everlasting father, king of glory, I join all these saints who are stretching their hands toward the president and, and the deputy and the first lady and the second lady. Lord, hear our cry for these leaders. Bless them, Lord. Give them long life to live to serve this nation. They heard your voice. They heard your voice. And that's why they are in Akuru and here. Father, he has prayer for these leaders. Our president has been a man of prayer. His wife is the intercessor. She's a woman of prayer. Deputy president, the same. 
is a man of prayer. His wife also is a woman of prayer. They are all prophetesses. They prophesy about this nation. And from today, God opened doors for them in the wilderness. The way you open doors for most in the wilderness, we come to you now that you bless them and help them, Lord, to accomplish the Kenya plan, the bottom up transformation agenda 2022 to be totally accomplished. And we pray God Almighty, open doors for him to lead more than one. We pray that you open doors. And I pray for all believers, all people in Kenya. We are Kenyans. We say no to tribalism. That we are going to walk together with him. And stand with him. I pray God Almighty that with the church we have stood together with him. We don't want to be like Judas Iscariot. We are going to stand with him through no matter what happens. Father, I know from today it's going to rain and bring blessing in this nation. And the way the president is struggling you and to take people to those who are suffering. He is helping those who are here and they are suffering in this nation. Lord, comfort our president with his deputy. Comfort their, even the first lady and the second lady. They are struggling left and right. Lord God Almighty, open doors for them and bless him. That Kenya will be surprised. And I pray for all media to stand with them. Whatever they declare, it will be announced in a very specific way on all the televisions. God Almighty, this is your true servant like Moses. Hear our cry for him and his deputy. Lord, bless him. I pray that you give him long life to live to lead this nation. Lord God Almighty, thank you for hearing my cry. I've been praying for many. And those, Lord, you have led me to pray for them. You have uplifted them in a big way. God, Father, time for His Excellency Ruto and the His Excellency Deputy President has come now with their wives. Time now to lead spiritually in a mighty way the way they have been following. Let it start open doors for them to be a blessing. Let Nairobi, let Kenya be their Jerusalem to begin. Go and declare blessings all over in other nations. I pray that you bless them to be a blessing to other nations. Give them long life to live. And according to your word, let the enemies come one way and free seven ways. I pray God Almighty believing. You have heard my cry. Even all these prophets are praying for them. Bwana na amini umesikia kilio chetu kwa ajili ya uongozi wa nchi hii na utatenda maajabu kuanzia leo ni miracles miracles katika count sote na katika department sote na vile tuliombea state house baba malaika waendelee na ku control state house naomba divine security and protection kwa watumishi hao wako wote uwaongoze na uwalinde bwana na ministers wote CSS tunawaombea Walinde watu wale wanasema pamoja na yeye hata MP tunawakumbuka baba tunakumbuka wote magava na wote tunawaombea baba kuanzia leo na wao wasikie sauti yako baba Mungu wa leo hai na wasikie sauti ya kiongozi wako Mungu wa leo hai asande kwa his excellency dr Samuel Ruto ambaye ulimchagua na wote wale akupamoya na wao uwabariki mpaka uwabariki mpaka wabarikiwe na waishi maisha marefu naomba nikiamini baba umesikia kilio changu katika jina la baba na la mwana na roho mtakatifu na watu wote mshangilie man tena mzeme amen man Amen, 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 basi. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, asante sana baba zetu kwa maneno hayo na maombezi ya taifa letu kwa jumla. Na tunashukuru Mungu sana. Sasa 
Mheshimiwa Rais tumemalizia maombi hapo ile mzito ambayo tulianza asubuhi saa mbili saa mbili mpaka sasa. Kwa dakika kidogo tu wacha damu itembee kwa mwili kwa sababu wengi wameketi, wengine wamesimama sana. Na karibisha waimbaji watupatie tu wimbo dakika moja na nusu. Dakika moja na nusu tumpigie bwana makofi dakika moja tu kidogo alafu kisha tutoke kwa hiyo tuende katika kiwango nyingine ya kupokea kiongozi wetu wa taifa na mambo hayo tutakuwa tunamalizia asante sana waimbaji Yesu anaweza tusimame Yesu anaweza Yesu Tukiwa tumesimama hivyo dakika mbili tu 
mbili tu hata ijisifike mbili yale maneno yote tumeyasungumza yale maombi tumeomba tuinue tu mikono dakika moja tu seal kwa maneno ya kiroho kila mtu ikiwezekana you can speak in tongues if you are able to speak just tell the lord thank you because he has done it yote tulie sema yote tulie ombea our god has done it just speak in tongues and tell him thank you raso kabrahadesha we thank you our father because you have answered our prayer forever we are grateful lord jesus we thank you our god Asandi kwa ukuu wako. Asandi kwa matendo yako makubwa. Pokea heshima yote na utukufu. Hata kutupatia hewa safi siku ya leo. Na hata tayari dalili ya mvua inaonekana. Na sehemu katika taifa letu linanyesha tayari. Bwana tunasema ni asante. Pokea heshima yote na utukufu. Tunakupa utukufu yetu. Pokea heshima. Asante Bwana. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Kanisa lote wapendwa na Kenya mzima tuseme amina wenye bigelegele Asante Basi nauliza ndugu yangu Michael Kitonga kutoka hapo achukulie Asante tunaweza keti Ebu tuketi Can we give a warm warm clap to the clergy wametuongoza vizuri sana. Hebu tuwapigie makofi tafadhali wananchi wote wa Kenya tukifurahia ya kwamba hii ni siku ambayo mtu Mungu ametenga. Your Excellency the President of this blessed nation, Dr. William Samoei Ruto, the First Lady Mama Rachel Ruto, Your Excellency uh, the Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa, Your Excellency the spouse to the deputy president Dorcas Rigathe the prime cabinet secretary uh, Musalia Mudavadi um, all cabinet and principal secretaries present all members of parliament all members of the senate pastors teachers apostles prophets evangelists fellow believers Kenyans ladies and gentlemen Bwana Yesu asifiwe asifiwe tena at this point, Your Excellency, with your permission, allow me to invite Pastor Dorcas to just come and give a few comments. And she's not just the spouse to the Deputy President, but she's a pastor. So why don't we give her a warm, warm welcome as she comes to speak to us. Pastor Dorcas, karibu sana. Praise the Lord. Can you put your hands together for a crop offering to our God? And if you can clap even louder and louder and louder and louder. Our great president of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, your deputy, and all protocols observed, We've been here since morning, worshipping God and praising Him, bringing our repentance before Him. And as we have gone through the whole process, I was just sitting here and seeing Kenya in a position that Israel was when there arose a spirit of Jezebel. A spirit that embodied in a woman, and that spirit was very destructive. It was a spirit of murder, it was a spirit of intimidation, it was a spirit that killed even the prophets of God. And that spirit had to be dealt with. And there was a day of showdown between the man of God and the prophets of Baal. And I could tell that this day is that day when Kenya rose and we wanted to show down between the forces of darkness and the forces of light. When the church of Jesus Christ stands as one, a body corporate that God has called in such time as this one to be able to rise up and be able to speak into the atmosphere. And therefore, I thank all the fathers of faith who have been here, all the archbishops, bishops, all the men and the women of God, the 
people of Kenya who have gathered here since morning and I know God has already heard your prayers and our prayers. At the end of that duo or that showdown, it was the God of Israel that was able to show he is God. And I know that today, as a man of God has spoken, it took a word of a man of God for there to be a famine for three and a half years. And it took the same man of God to speak a word. And there was rain. And therefore I know Kenya is embracing for a great harvest in the mighty name of Jesus. God has always a plan. And this plan that we have here is God's plan because it's a plan. His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, envisioned for the people of God. And therefore, it is a plan of God which cannot fail. And if you can clap your hands so that you can show God you understand that the plans of God cannot fail, the plans of God cannot it's only the counsel of God that can be able to stand with a very simple role to do and that is to invite the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya Regadi Gashagwa Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces, Dr. William Ruto. Your Excellency, the First Lady, Mama Rich Ruto, our spiritual fathers, anointed men and women of God, and all those who are here for this great celebration. God is good. And all the time. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. We will never tire to express our gratitude to our spiritual fathers, to our anointed men and women of God, for always holding your leadership in prayer and for always praying for this country. These prayers could not have come when we need to heal our land from the challenges that be there for this nation. Your Excellency, as we hold these prayers for rain, 5.3 million Kenyans are tearing at starvation. More than 2.5 million heads of cattle have died, and the situation doesn't look any better. So the prayers today to intercede with God to give us rain are more than welcome. Your Excellency, we face many challenges with our young people. And these prayers are most appropriate as we pray for those who are selling cheap and illicit liquor to our young children, that God can touch their hearts to change their ways and be merciful to our children. So, Excellency, as these prayers continue, your government also continues to do its part. You continue to mobilize our development partners to give food to our people. You continue to make interventions to restore security in the Great Rift. You continue to make the interventions that are humanly possible. Us, our spiritual fathers and anointed men and women of God continue to offer prayers to heal our land. So I want to take this opportunity to ask the First Lady to come and say a few words and then invite our President to give a speech. Your Excellency, the First Lady. Thank you, Your Excellency, our Deputy President. Uh, my sister, Pastor Dorcas uh, Rigadi, Your Excellency, uh, our President, Dr. William Ruto, the clergy uh, here today, our fathers of faith, our pastors, bishops, evangelists, prophets, intercessors. Praise the Lord. 
I want you to raise your flag and say, praise Jesus. Praise the Lord. Let me see those flags of Kenya. Let me see those flags of Kenya. Thank you so much. I take this opportunity to thank the Almighty God for his goodness and his mercies that are new unto us every day. I take this opportunity to thank the clergy for being here today to pray for our nation. Like Apostle Subi said in the morning, we were at the 3 p.m. watch about a week ago when the Lord spoke to us about praying for rain, especially during this time. And I want to thank God because God had given us an opportunity to have the thanksgiving prayers in Nakuru on Sunday. And so that really gave us the authority to come here today to ask of God. And this morning, we have repented. We have asked God to be with us. And want to thank God the way everything has gone. I want to thank each one of you that took time today for these prayers. I want to thank the many, and the many bishops and pastors that have come from the counties. Let me see uh, the bishops and pastors that have come from the counties just by you raising up your hands. The ones that came from outside Nairobi. Watch out to Apigia Makofi. Thank you so much for traveling the many kilometers to come uh, to this solemn assembly. I know that the God that we have prayed in the city of Nairobi today is the God that has heard our prayer here and has also heard our prayers even in the counties because we know that actually uh, the counties have been affected very much because of this drought, especially the Asal areas. But we know that today we have prayed and we can see the clouds are formed and we know that the rains are coming. Just like uh, the clergy have said, go prepare your farms because the rains are coming. The Bible in the book of Psalms 33 verses 12 says, Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he chose for his inheritance. Today we want to thank God for the people of Kenya that have chosen God to be their God. We want to thank God for the leadership that God has given us, a leadership that cherishes God and loves God and loves the people of God. Because you can be but you may not even appreciate the people that God has given you. We want to thank God for this leadership that thinks about the, the, the bottom up people, the people that are lowly, the people that are in the villages. We want to thank you, Your Excellency, and your deputy and your leadership for thinking about the people of this great nation. I can tell you that our president thinks about you every day. God has given him a plan, great plans for this nation. And we know that even as the Church of Jesus Christ, as as intercessors, as we continue to pray for this presidency, God is going to help them so that they can fulfill their mandate that God has given them to be leaders in this nation. You know, today when we were praying for the plan, I remember the words in Proverbs chapter 16, verses 3, that says, commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish your plans. We have a plan that uh, uh, the Kenya I want to ask that we continue to pray for that plan, the dream of our president, so that the Lord can help them to be able uh, to fulfill uh, the, the promises that they have given to Kenya. Today we have prayed against um, covenants that are not kept. I pray this afternoon that the covenant and the promises that the president, his deputy, and his team have given us will not be a broken covenant, but this covenant shall be fulfilled even in our life and in our generation. Thank you so much once again. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord grant you the desires of your heart. Like um, uh, Dr. Lai was preaching, he says, people seated here today are going to be millionaires because the Lord is going to bless you. We pray that the Church of Jesus Christ shall continue to stand strong and especially the clergy, the intercessors us so that this nation can move forward. Let's continue praying for this government and I know that the Lord will continue to, to bless us. It is now my humble duty to invite the president of this great republic, Dr. William Samoe Ruto, to talk to us. Welcome, Your Excellency.
Nteni, thank you very much. Our spiritual fathers present here, bishops, archbishops, wachungaji, mapasta, apostles, na wale wote, ndugu wa Kenya wenzangu hamjambo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. God is good. And all the time, asante sana. Wakati niliambiwa kama siku, siku saba zilizopita kwamba ni vyema taifa letu la Kenya lipate nafasi ya kuomba kwa ajili ya yale mipango yote tumefanya na hasa tupate nafasi ya kuomba kwa ajili ya mvua katika taifa letu la Kenya nikasema ya kwamba ni vizuri na nikawaambia wale wahusika wote kwamba tarehe hii ya 14 kwa mapenzi ya Mungu tupate nafasi ya kuombea nchi yetu hasa kwa jambo hili la kiangazi na Mungu aweze kutupatia mvua mimi nashukuru sana kwamba wengi wametoka sehemu mbalimbali mbali. wametoka pembe nyingi ya taifa letu la Kenya na wamekuja hapa ili tupate nafasi hii ya maombi wengi vile vile wanaomba katika sehemu mbalimbali mbali ya taifa letu kwa ajili ya taifa letu la Kenya mimi nawashukuru sana as our spiritual army you have stood firm and we will walk this journey together as a government of Kenya and as our religious leaders tutafanya hiyo kazi pamoja na nataka niwaeleze ya kwamba kama serikali tumefanya mipango yote mipango ya mbolea mipango ya mbegu mambo yale ambayo yanahitajika ili tujitayarishe kwa sababu tunajua Mungu atatupatia mvua na Kenya itakuwa na chakula na tutaondoa aibu ya njaa katika taifa letu la Kenya asanteni sana kuja katika maombi haya nimepata furaha kubwa na nimepata hakikisho kwamba kanisa sasa inaelewa mahali pake katika taifa letu la Kenya leo nitalala mapema na nitaamuka kesho kuchelewa na nitalala na viatu because i am a very proud kenyan that our nation especially the body of jesus christ in kenya has woken up to the words of matthew 11:12 that says and from the days of john the baptist the kingdom of god suffereth violence and the violence take it by force i am very proud that the church has rediscovered its place in the governance of the republic of kenya and that you have come to occupy your place i was worried pale nyuma wakati niliona viongozi wengi wa kanisa wamenunua uoga wameambiwa maneno ati kanisa haifai watu wengi waliodunisha neno la mungu 
wakakejeli kanisa la Mungu wakachifanya eti kuna system sijui kuna deep state mpaka kanisa ikaanza kuogopa but today i am happy that the church has come back to the center of the politics of the republic of kenya vile kitabu ya sakaria in zakaria 6 in Zechariah 4 verse 6 the word of god says it is not by might it is not by power it is by the spirit of god and i want to say without fear of any contradiction it is not by the power of the deep state nor by the might of the system it is by the power and the spirit of god that this nation is going to move from this level to the next level let me also say that god has opened the doors for our nation i want you to know because i speak from a position of knowledge our nation the doors in the financial systems in the international community were closed for our nation but i want to give you the good news that now the financial system in the world has opened the doors once more for kenya we can now go to any international financial system and ask on behalf of kenya and the doors are open for us locally our doors in the financial system had been limited but today the doors of the financial system in kenya are open for the government of kenya and today we are getting from those financial markets more than we need the word of god teaches us that a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children it doesn't leave dead we had accumulated too much reckless debt and i want to say with a lot of humility that as pastor lai said we will pay our debts and we will make this country debt free because we need to leave an inheritance for our children's children and so that the words of proverbs 13 and 22 can come true for our nation that we are going to leave an inheritance for our children and as a sign that that is indeed the case we decided to pass the law in 2014 so that we can build a strong foundation for savings in our country that law has been from one court to another and so that you know god has opened the doors for kenya last court made a vinyl determination and today we have opened the door to savings in our nation the nssf law now guarantees that every citizen will save 6% of their salary and every employer will save 6% to accompany that of the employee so that we can build 
savings for our nation and create an inheritance for our future and for our children's children. If you were in any doubt as to whether the doors of Kenya, God has opened them, I want to give you that confirmation that indeed our doors have been opened. And in any case, let me also remind you, many people may ask, how is this going to happen? I also want to remind you again of what the scriptures say in that Proverbs 13, 22. Part B says, and the wealth of sinners is stored up for the righteous. So we are not only going to work hard, but you know where we will get the extras. And let me conclude by saying, thank you very much for praying for, praying for the plan, the bottom-up economic plan. Kwa sababu, niliwambia ya kwamba hii agenda tumetoa kwa Biblia. Ukisoma Zaburi, Psalms, miyamoja kuminatatu, mstari wa saba na nane. Neno la mungu linasema, mungu humtoa mtu mnyonge mafumbini. Na umfanya fukara na maskini mpaka wakaketi meza moja na wafalme. That is the story of our nation. Kenya will be lifted up. And I want to thank you for praying for the plan so that we can lift all our citizens. And Kenya shall be a country of plenty. Kenya shall be a country that we are going to lend and not borrow. That is the nation that we all look forward to. Na tunaamini mungu atatujalia. Mwisho kabisa. Nimeona askofu wetu lai na askofu wengine wakisema pale kwamba kuna makelele, kuna shida, kuna wengine pale wanafanya hii, wanapanga hivi, wanapanga vile. Lakini mimi na wauliza, mbona nyinyi ni watu wa kusahau? Mbona hamukumbuki maneno ya Nehemia? Ukisoma Nehemia ine kuanzia mstari wa kwanza hapo. Kulikuwa na watu wa jeuri kama hawa. Watu wa niambaya. Watu wa madharau. Wakati Nehemia karibu kujenga kuta, kuna jamaa anaitwa Sanbalat, mwingine anaitwa Tobias. Watu wa kiburi na madharau mingi. Walikuwa wanamwambia hata hii ukuta unajenga hii. Mwea peke yake akisimama juu yake inaanguka. Kwani mliambiwa huyo Sanbalat na Tobias waliisha? Si wako. Lakini na wauliza kuta ya Yerusalemu ilijengwa ama ya Yeriko ilijengwa haikujengwa. Si ilijengwa. So wachana na Sanbala na Tobias wajishughulishe na ile wanashughulisha. Kenya itaenda mbele na mapenzi ya Mungu itatendeka katika taifa letu la Kenya. Asanteni sana na watakia baraka ya Mungu. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Tumpigie makofi tafadhali. What a great nation this is. Your Excellency, as we come to the end of our prayer session, I would like to invite Bishop Tumising to just come and close with a word of prayer. Karibu. Shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we are so grateful and so thankful 
that you have been with us from the beginning of this prayer meeting up to this time. We are giving you the glory and honor for what you have experienced, from what you have heard, and all that we have been able to see in this place. We want to thank you specifically and especially for our president and indeed the deputy and their spouses. We thank you for the way that they have humbled themselves to come for this prayer meeting. We pray, Lord Jesus Christ, that you will give them the wisdom you gave Solomon. That you give them the strength that was upon Samson. That you give them the spirit of meekness that was upon, upon Moses. May we give them the spirit of humility that was upon David. As they continue to lead this country, Lord, I pray that you will give them wisdom, as, as Solomon said, give me wisdom that I may know how to lead your people. Thank you so, so much for them. We pray that you bless them in a special way. Give them long life and give them healthy lives. As they continue to lead us, may you continue to bless them all the days of their lives. We want to thank you for all of us who have attended this meeting. Lord, we pray that you will take us safely to our respective places. Thank you for hearing and answering my prayer. Because I pray, believing in Jesus' holy name. And everybody say, Amen. And before we depart, Your Excellency, with humility, as the Father of the nation, we are requesting if you can just pray and speak a blessing to this nation as the father of the nation. Yes. Amen. So ladies and gentlemen, I'll request His Excellency to just now wrap it all up with a word of prayer as he speaks a blessing to the nation of Kenya. What a blessed nation we are. Amen. Our Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for these moments we have spent in this place. We are grateful, Heavenly Father, that you have given us a nation, Kenya. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you shall bring unity in the Republic of Kenya. That despite us voting different ways, that you shall establish in Kenya the unity of purpose. That all of us leaders shall find it in a mechanism for us to work together for the people of the Republic of Kenya. Heavenly Father, we want to commit all the plans we have for this nation to your good hands. Heavenly Father, these plans are just plans. It is you to speak life into them. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you shall cause every plan that is meant for the good of your people to succeed and that no spirit and that no force shall stop the good for the people of the Republic of Kenya. We pray for rain, Heavenly Father. We pray that you shall give us, open the heavens for us so that we can have plenty, so that our farms can produce, so that we can have food in plenty, and so that the people of Kenya can rejoice. Father, we commit our children we call our children, Heavenly Father, from drugs. We call them to, back home, to come back home. We call our children, Heavenly Father, from alcoholism. We claim back the future of our nation. We claim back our children, Heavenly Father, so that they can be an inheritance to us. We commit our plans to secure our nation to your good hands. Give us success in every battle. Give us success in every endeavor. Protect our children, Heavenly Father. Protect our families from adverse ideology. Give us, Heavenly Father, to understand your will. We pray for the people of Kenya and all the leaders. We want to commit the church to your good hands. That, Heavenly Father, you shall cause them to stand in the gap between our nation and you and to speak a blessing over our nation. Heavenly Father, we commit ourselves. We speak a blessing upon our children. Bless our children, Heavenly Father. Bless our schools, Heavenly Father. Bless our farms, Heavenly Father. We speak a blessing upon our businesses. We speak a blessing upon our government that, Heavenly Father, we shall do that which is in your perfect will. We pray for Kenya. We lift up our nation before you, Lord, that you will find favor, that we will find your grace, even among us, the community of nations. We lift up our nation. We pray for each and every Kenyan 
that Heavenly Father, you shall cause them to attain the wishes of their hearts. We want to pray for all of us. We want to thank you for the moments we've spent together. We commit the days to come to your good hands. We commit the months and the years ahead of us to your good hands. And we want to thank you. And all glory and honor shall come back to you. Because we pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the whole nation said, Amen. Asante Sam. We have come to the end of our prayer session. May God bless you. Amen.